So, you're wondering how to solve those pesky excess reactant problems. And these are probably one of the more difficult problems that we're going to tackle in Unit 11 here on stoichiometry. First of all, what is an excess reactant? Anything you have in excess is stuff that's left over that you didn't use. So, like if you have your big Thanksgiving dinner, you're going to have leftovers, the food that nobody ate. Same thing happens in chemical reactions. You're going to have chemicals that weren't used in the reaction. They were left over. So how do we figure out the amount that's left over? And that's what we're going to be taking a look at here in this podcast. So let's just use this example, and that will help us figure out what to do. So I've got 20 grams of NaOH, 20 grams, so I have an amount, and then I also have 30 grams of H2SO4. So those are my reactants, and I want to know which one is in excess. I also want to know how much will remain, and we're going to have to solve that both in moles and in grams. Well, I don't see a balanced chemical equation here, and you always need that whenever you're doing these problems. So let's work that out. I'm going to have NaOH reacting with H2SO4. This is an acid and a base reacting together. They're neutralizing each other. It's going to be a double displacement reaction. So the sodium ion is going to bond with the sulfate. Now remember, sodium's a plus one ion, and sulfate has a negative two charge. So that means we're going to need two sodium ions to react with one sulfate. That means we're going to have Na2SO4 as one of the products. The other product is going to be hydrogen bonding with hydroxide. That's going to give us a water molecule, H2O. Now we still need to balance the equation. I have two sodium ions in the products right here, so I'm going to need to put a coefficient of 2 in front of my NaOH. That means I'm also going to have to put a 2 in front of the H2O on the other side. So now I have four hydrogen atoms here, 2 times 2 is 4, and then over here I've got 2, and then 2 times 1, which is 2, so that makes 4. So now this is a balanced equation, and I'm going to use that to solve my problem. So the first thing we need to do is figure out which reactant is limiting and which is in excess. So remember, we always change everything to moles. So remember, I have 20 grams of NaOH. I have to change that to moles. How do we go from grams to moles? We divide by the formula mass. So if I use a little dimensional analysis again, I'm solving for moles of NaOH. I need a formula mass. So I've already figured that out for us. It's 40.01 grams of NaOH. Remember always to have all of your formula masses to two decimal places. Okay, 20 divided by 40.01 is 0.4999, four significant digits. So we're going to label that moles of NaOH. Now I also want to change the sulfuric acid, H2SO4, to moles. So I've got, whoops, I've got 20 grams of H2SO4. Got to divide that by its formula mass, so that's 98.10 grams of sulfuric acid, H2SO4, in one mole of H2SO4. Okay, so 20 divided by 98.10, 0 0.3058 moles of NaOH. H2SO4, excuse me. All right, so these are the amounts in moles. Now, I need to figure out which one is limiting and which one is in excess. Let's go back to our balanced equation for a moment. 
I have a coefficient of 2 in front of the NaOH, and I have a 1 in front of the H2SO4. That's a 2 to 1 mole ratio. I need twice as much sodium hydroxide as sulfuric acid. All right, so let's see what we've got and see if we got a 2 to 1 ratio. Do I have twice as much sodium hydroxide? Is 0 0.4999 double 0 0.3058? How would I use dimensional analysis to figure this out? So you just pick one of them. It doesn't matter which one. 0 0.3058 moles H2SO4. And then I say for every one mole H2SO4, I'm going to need two moles of NaOH. So notice what I'm doing is I'm taking the moles of sulfuric acid that I have and I'm going to double it. And that will give me the moles of sodium hydroxide that I need. I need 0.6116 moles of sodium hydroxide. Do I have that? No, I only have 0.499. I don't have enough. So NaOH is limiting. That means the H2SO4 is excess. So let's write that down. H2SO4 is excess. That's what's going to be left over. We're going to have sulfuric acid left over once this reaction is finished. OK, so now what? Now I have to calculate how much of the excess I'm going to use up. So let's do that. I'm going to always start with my limiting reactant, 0.4999 moles NaOH. That's my limiting reactant. Always start with the limiting reactant. OK, now go back to that mole ratio again. Two moles of NaOH require one mole of sulfuric acid, H2SO4. So what do we get? 0 0.2500 moles H2SO4 are used. That's how much is used up in the reaction. Okay, so how much is going to be left over? How do we figure that out? Well, we have to take the amount that we're starting with. Let's go back to the beginning here and see what that was. Here it is. We started out with this amount, 0 0.3058 moles. That's how much we started with. All right, 0 0.3058 moles to start. And we want to figure out how much is left over. So we have to subtract how much gets used up. All right, let's go back and see what that was. 0 0.2500 moles used. All right. Oops. So we're going to subtract 0.25. This is supposed to be a subtraction sign. 0 0.2500 moles H2SO4 used. That's going to give us the leftovers. How much you start with minus how much you use is how much is in excess. Think about it. How much food is on the table? minus how much you ate gives how much is left over. All right, so 0 0.3058 minus 0 0.2500 gives us 0 0.0558 moles H2SO4 in excess. Or you could say left over. All right, so there's our first answer. Remember it said to calculate it in moles and then also in grams. So finally we want to change that to grams. How do we do that? How do we go from moles to grams? You just multiply by the formula mass for the sulfuric acid. So I have 0 0.0558 moles of H2SO4 and I'm going to multiply that by the mass of one mole of sulfuric acid, 98.10 grams in one mole. 
All right, and remember two decimal places in your formula mass. Always round to two decimal places. Okay, 0 0.0558 times 98.10, and then the moles cancel, and we are left with grams, and we get 5.474 grams of H2SO4 in excess. Make sure you label your answer very well. It also helps your teacher if you circle or box your final answer and then we know that that's what you intended to be your answer. Now, why do you think this is useful or important? Think about that. Why would you want to know if you're neutralizing an acid how much is left over in the end? Jot down some ideas now in your notes and then when you come to class be prepared to offer some possible answers to this question when we have our class discussion or perhaps we'll have you get in small groups and you can discuss it with your classmates and come up with some reasons. You also need to be prepared to respond to this question when you take your stoichiometry test at the end of the unit. Why do chemists want to know what limiting reactants are and what excess reactants are? How important is that, and why do we need to know that, especially if we're in a manufacturing uh, process? What if we're making drugs or we're making a product? Why would it be important to know the limiting and excess reactants? Okay, hope that helped, and I hope that gives you a much clearer picture on how to figure out excess and limiting reactants. See you in class.